ありがとうございます So you are about to board the boat. But first, you have to go to your lane. They will give you a dedicated number. You pay for your, you pay for the price of the boat. The counter, they will give you a dedicated number. Our number today is actually eleven. So I'm gonna park behind this vessel, and then we will get ready to board the ship. So two thousand and sixty yen will be for a car and one person, and so you have to pay for additional packs at four fifty yen. So me and my wife together will set us back about two thousand five hundred ten yen. So this is Taira Port in Nagasaki. This is where you take a ship to Kumamoto. In this instant, we are taking our car on the ship. Okay, now we are boarding the ship. The first time I'm driving onto a ship itself. Wow, 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 wow. this is scary. This is scary as fuck. car is actually currently on the ship right now as you can see so this is the ramp where I came from we are going to detach the ramps you can see the trucks are still coming those are for the goods, they are loading the goods Okay, yay! So the ferry is actually quite interesting. Here on the ship itself, they also have a souvenir shop where you can buy some snacks and souvenirs for your family and friends. Can you see? I can see the port where we left. We left from the port. You see other places? Ah, uh, see a mountain. I see mountain. So you can see this bird is following us. I don't know why this bird is following us, but it's following us. The Japanese lady over here is feeding the birds. Apparently they can, they can grab the food mid air. Oh, look at all these birds chasing the ship because somebody is feeding them chips. Okay, so I'm gonna alight from the ferry now. Uh, apparently you just saw that I drove on to the ferry and there's so much seagulls following us. Now we're gonna alight from the ferry and we're gonna drive to Kumamoto City. And first we're gonna hit the Kumamoto Castle. And let's go! right now so the only sad thing about driving a toge is that uh, you're driving it on a ship box. Uh -huh. I have no fucking idea where I'm right but this one looks like a farm. Maybe there are fruits on the tree. I'm not sure if it's a, a public plugging. We are Kumamoto right now. Look at the accelerating view of the countryside farm. This is not exactly the Kumamoto city. So they actually sell the oranges. <laughs> that is specimen, right? <laughs> You got a specimen? Mm. What's the hairy one? Oh, kiwi, oh my god. Okay. Yeah, of course. You want an orange? Well, let's try the orange then. So, we're buying fruits at the farm. This is actually the farm. These oranges are freshly harvested. Kumamon Village, this one sells all the Kumamon merchandise in Kumamoto. He's a big fan of uh, Kumamon. So, oh, yeah. There's a walking Kumamon Kuma over here, and there's one sitting over the chair. There's a lot of merchandise. There's even Crayon Shinchan disguised as a Kumamon.
Where are we now? We are at Josai N. Josai N is actually in Kumamoto. So this is actually the old street. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, but I gotta warn you first, it's quite pricey. It's not exactly cheap. We're currently at the old street of Kumamoto. This is called Josai N. This place uh, is actually an old town. And there's You can see it's, a, it's shaped in the way of the old town. It's right under the Kumamoto castle and there's a lot of stores selling souvenirs and uh, restaurants but it's quite pricey I would say it's for tourists. I bought a lot of gifts though. It's a cheap bunch of gifts. Wasabi oh, and soy sauce. Then. Oh, so we came to this extremely touristy area and I ordered a, a very expensive set. This is really what I want to eat. As you can see here, this is the uni and this is ikura. For the uni ikura don. Alongside the soup and the set. My wife actually ordered some uh, tea, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a kaizen don. So after you finish, you pour the tea inside the bowl and you drink it. So it's like a tea and rei cha, but it's not. So I ordered one of the popular side dish. This is actually the uni croquet. It's unique to this uh, restaurant itself. It's their unique dish. So I'm gonna try it now. Hey, what do you buy? I bought a sweet potato pancake in Kumamanshe. Oh my god, kawaii! Yes. Uh, ticket for only Katsu is 800 yen. And then combination tickets for Katsu and Katsu Museum. Okay, so we just bought tickets for the Kumamoto Castle. And behind me is this really really cool samurai armor statue. Once again, there's the 3D light show. And there is your Kumamoto Castle. My wife is enjoying the game. So Kumamoto Castle used to be on fire. And the firefighters fought bravely to subside the fire in time before its destruction. So my wife is trying to be a fireman right now. Look at this man. It's a more modern samurai that they are always paired with a weapon, the musket. Kumamoto Castle experience is larger than the other two that I've visited. You actually start from below the castle itself, much below the castle, and you go inside the castle city. So these are the scenes you see in the movie. Usually uh, the bad guy will keep running when the castle is taken over, and they run by this kind of path, then they get catched by the good guy and then die here. Oh. This guy is doing some samurai pop. Is that okay for? Yay! Well done. Now I'm actually inside the Kumamoto Castle Gallery. Uh, I don't understand anything because they are lazy to translate everything. They just translated the title or the captions and the details of the text below is all untranslated. But basically uh, this mural is going to tell you that uh, it's rebuilt three times. Once in 1927, once in 1958 and lastly it was rebuilt in the 1960s. And of course now there is a lot of uh, new upgrades. This is how the castle looked during the Kato era. There's a few rulers of this castle apparently. Set of armor here. And here you have a mirror that explains all about different types of armors that they used during the Sekigahara period. Right now I'm at the peak of the Kumamoto castle. This is six, level, six floors high. So the sixth level is the smallest but the highest. As you could go up, the rooms actually get smaller because it's built in a tower manner. Okay, you can actually see our hotel from here. It's a red building. Beyond the red building. Okay, so actually uh, we just completed the Kumamoto Castle and I'm gonna end the video here. We're gonna enjoy Kumamoto to ourselves. Uh, you should come to Kumamoto. It's a very interesting city and of course you must visit the castle. Alright, so we're gonna do some shopping. I shall not cover that in the video. So I ended the Kumamoto episode here. I'll see you in the next one. Welcome! Okay, so this is our hotel room. This is the toilet. Oh, as per every Japan toilet, there is a bathtub. And this is a very nice hotel. But it's a bit small, I would say, but it's a nice hotel. Why is it nice? Okay, bed and everything, right? 
normal small room but we specifically get this look at our view man that is Kuma Moto Castle where we went just now 